Peace and greetings, peace and greetings to the tribe and the family. Brother Divine here today on this uh, Good Friday in uh, Huntsville, Alabama today. Um, this is day nine of the vlog, Life as an Entrepreneur. Uh, so to, like, I did, like I said, to the, since today is Friday, we're gonna be doing a free game Friday. Like I say, each day that I do these vlogs, um, I have themes for certain days of the week. And since today is Free Game Friday, I want to be giving money-saving tips as far as like uh, you know things that you might occur as far as like expenses that you deal with as a business owner. And uh, so I'm going to be giving uh, tips on how to save money and to get a lot of money back on the back end as far as like when you file your taxes and things of that nature. So. Uh, today we're going to be talking about business credits, general business credits, and uh, also um, in publication, which one is it? Yeah, publication 535, that's going to be like your business expense, um, you know, deductions or whatnot. And then also we're going to be talking about uh, publication 463, which is for like travel, gift, and uh, car expense. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, now, before I even get involved in or get started with this vlog today, I want to say, in no shape, way, or form am I a CPA. CPA. I am not an accountant. Um, so, you know, all of this information that I'm providing to you guys today, um, you know, you might want to talk to your tax provider or your accountant about some of the things and just ask them, you know, about or her about things that I was uh, talking about in this vlog just to get clarification or whatnot just in case I don't give crystal clear clarity on what all of this means or whatnot. I'm just going by what I know personally uh, as far as like some of this stuff. I don't know everything, uh, but uh, a lot of information as far as like books I've read, they were talking about these different publications. Uh, Camel backing off a of vlog I did earlier, uh, I was talking about publication 334 and uh, a lot of these credits or whatnot that I ran across, it came pretty much from that and um, the other publications that they had uh, as far as in the uh, publication 334. So uh, we're going to start with the general business credits, right? Now, your general business credit for the year consists of your carry forward of business credits from prior years plus the total of your current year business credits. In addition, your general business credit for the current year may be increased later by the carryback of business credits from uh, later years. You subtract this business credit uh, directly from your taxes. Now, uh, to file these business credits, you're going to also need a uh, form 3800, which is your general business credit. Uh, you're going to uh, have to fill out that form also to apply for these uh, these credits that I'm going to be talking about. Also, another useful uh, form will be Form 6251, and that's the alternative minimum uh, tax individuals for individuals right there, the alternative minimum tax for individuals. So you're going to uh, want to get that too. Now, uh, all of these credits are part of the general business credit, um, and uh, you know, you'll need the form uh, number or whatever to figure out the credit. Also, like I was saying, you're going to need Form 3800. Uh, what, excuse me also have to be completed uh, some of the credits have expiration dates so you want to check the instructions for each of these credits to figure out you know certain deadlines that might uh, be coming up or whatnot so you can get that paperwork in in a timely fashion uh, like I say you want to talk to your tax preparer or your accountant your CPA and uh, you know ask about you know these these credits or whatnot they're they're all um, in the tax code uh, I, I, I please stress I can't stress enough you want to take cre uh, take advantage of all of these business credits or whatnot because like I say as an entrepreneur you're fronting all of the bill up front you're pretty much paying out of pocket to uh, you know sustain your business so any little bit helps as far as business credits uh, that you can get you know as far as a bit uh, being a business owner so uh, please take advantage of that uh, of these credits that I'm going to, you know, drop and uh, pretty much we're going to talk about uh, form, what is it, 8882, 8941, 
and 8844 and I'm going to pull these up uh, real quick so you guys can see it and we're going to go over these and uh, talk about these forms as far as tax credits. So um, we're going to start first with form 8882 and uh, Pretty much the purpose of this form is for uh, employers to claim the credit of qualified child care facilities and resources and referral uh, expenditures or whatnot. This credit is part of the general business credit and you may claim the credit anytime within three years from the due date of your return on either an original or amended return. And uh, pretty much it's just talking about, you know, um, there are one or two ways that you can receive this credit. One of them is, uh, you know, actually providing chair, uh, child care for your employees or whatnot. Another way is if you was to actually build a child care facility, a part of your uh, your location or whatnot. And uh, you have to be a qualified child care facility uh, in order to receive this credit. And uh, it says down here how to figure the credit. It says the credit is 25% of the qualified child care facility expenditures plus 10% of the qualified child care resource and referral expenditures paid or incurred during the tax year. The credit is limited to 150000 per tax year. So that's a lot of money, guys, as far as uh, what you can take advantage for, as far as like child care if you were providing that for your employees, if you had employees or whatnot. Or if you were an employee yourself, you can take advantage of that. Uh, you know, um, you know, just like I say, you want to run across. I mean, run this across your tax prepare, and uh, to get a little bit more detailed information on that. So that is Form 8882, and that's for child care uh, credit. The next credit I pulled up is uh, it's Form 8844. Now this uh, credit right here is for Empowerment Zones credit. Now I didn't know what an Empowerment Zone was, uh, kind of still don't, but I'm just looking at some of the areas and it looks kind of like just uh, areas where, uh, you know, jobs have pretty much left the area or whatnot. Uh, they're kind of, like, I'm looking at the urban areas and it's kind of like, I'm not gonna say high crime, but it's, you know, kind of rough areas or whatnot. and. Um, there's a list right there on the right hand side on the screen you'll see and it uh, just has some of the places Fresno, California, uh, New Haven, Connecticut, Jacksonville, Florida, Miami-Dade County, Chicago, Illinois, uh, Gary, Hammond, East Chicago, Illinois, Boston, Massachusetts, Baltimore, Detroit, Michigan and that that's kind of like the flag that's let me know is, is dealing with like areas where a lot of businesses have left because Detroit, Michigan is on there and you know uh, everybody should know about you know the troubles that uh, Detroit has been facing, you know, throughout the years or whatnot. So this is pretty much trying to get business businesses to be interested in coming in these areas and, you know, opening up locations or whatnot. So they get a, a credit for that. And it says the uh, for the tax year, the credit is 20 percent of the employer's qualified zone wages up to 15,000 paid or incurred during the calendar year for services performed by an employee while the employee is uh, a qualified zone employee. And in the next uh, picture I'm going to pull up, it talks about, you know, the two ways of being uh, a qualified zone employee or whatnot. And uh, also it shows like a list of like urban areas. Oh, excuse me, not uh, urban, but rural areas that are also empowerment zones. So these are kind of like areas where it's not like a lot of uh, a lot of people staying out there it might be like desert, real, real dry uh, land or whatever, you know, just pretty much like deserts and stuff like that. And um, or just like just like I say, uh, uh, underpopulated areas. So um, that right there is another credit if you're in one of those areas or whatnot. Um, of course, Huntsville, Alabama isn't on there, but um, this vlog is, is pretty much nationwide. So. Uh, like I say, you might want to take this across to your CPA or whatnot, your um, your tax pre uh, prepare, and run this information to see if you qualify or whatnot. That's fifteen thousand dollars per employee if you're uh, in one of these areas or whatnot. So you might want to take advantage of that and uh, looking at that. So uh, I'm gonna go to the next form and let me pull this up for you guys. Okay, so the next form I just pulled up on the screen is a form eighty nine forty one. 
and this is for uh, eligible small biz, um, excuse me, small employers uh, to use this form or whatever to figure the credit for small employer health insurance premiums for tax years beginning after 2009. For tax years beginning after uh, 2013, it's, the credit is only available for a two consecutive tax year uh, credit period. And the maximum credit is generally a percentage of premiums the employer paid during the tax year for certain health insurance coverage uh, the employer provided to certain employees enrolled in a uh, qualified health plan offered through a small business health option program uh, work, uh, workplace. So that's another credit right here. And this is for, you know, if you're providing uh, health care for your employees or whatnot, this is another credit that you can receive and um, I want to say it's, 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 it's a lot of information in here on this one right here uh, this was a big form I'm not going to go through all of the specifics of it I just want to just pretty much bring attention to some of these uh, these tax credits that are available or whatnot so like I say you want to take this to your to your, uh, your tax preparer your CPA your accountant or whatnot and, uh, and just ask them about that uh, credit if you have employees, uh, if you're providing health care, uh, if you were thinking about providing health care and you know you uh, you never heard about those forms or whatnot, you might want to take advantage of that as well. Um, I'm not sure as far as like what you can receive back as far as percentage wise, uh, but it's a big form, so I, I really suggest you guys check into that right there. So. Um, so now I want to get into business expenses, right? Now, uh, business expenses, uh, you can pretty much deduct the cost of operating your business, and these costs are called business expenses. To be deductible, a business expense must be both ordinary and necessary. An ordinary expense is one that is common and accepted in your field of business. A necessary expense is one that is helpful and appropriate for your business. An expense does not have to be indispensable to be considered ne uh, necessary. So, uh, as far as these business expenses, as far as like deductions and uh, you know how to take advantage of those and where to get forms and all of that, you'll want to look up publications uh, 463, and that'll be your travel, gift, and car expense. And then also uh, publication 535, that'll be your business expense. Also, another one, uh, if you have property, excuse me, that you want to uh, take advantage of as far as like business credits, publication 946, it'll show you how to de uh, depreciate your property. So, um, pretty much, uh, I'm not going to pull it up because it, it was a whole uh, publication, a couple pages. I will leave the link of uh, how to go and, uh, and find all of these publications. Um, that I've been talking about thus far, you'll be able to pull them up and actually download them. Uh, some of the possible deductions available are uh, bad debts, also uh, car and truck expense, depreciation, uh, employees pay, and that also includes awards, bonuses, education expense, fringe benefits, sick pay, vacation leave. Uh, these all are uh, business expenses that you may be able to get a deduction for. Uh, insurance I was just talking about that interest if you have loans or whatever uh, the interest that you incur on said loan you could possibly get a deduction for that uh, legal and professional fees as far as like you know dealing with uh, dealing with your accountant uh, sitting down having to pay fees with them your lawyers things of that nature you can possibly get a deduction for that pension plans that you provide for your employees uh, rent expense as far as like the location if you if you're renting out of location that's a business expense that you can possibly get a deduction for. Uh, taxes, you can get actual deductions for paying taxes, income taxes, employment taxes, self-employment taxes, personal property taxes. Uh, you can also possibly get a deduction. Uh, travel and meals, uh, you wanna look up that in publication 463 uh, for a possible deduction on that. Uh, also business use uh, of your home, you can get a, a possible deduction on that as well. Um, some more deductions, uh, advertising, 
Uh, that's another business expense that you can possibly get a deduction for. Uh, bank fees that you might incur. Um, you can also get uh, possible deductions off that. Uh, donations to a business organization that you might pay out. Uh, license and regulatory fees. Uh, you know, for like your business uh, license. Um, you know that um, that tax that you pay. You know to get the pass through tax. This is for like if you have an LLC or whatnot. Um, these are also fees that you could possibly get a deduction for your supplies and materials that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, the utilities. Um, if you have to pay utilities in your location or where, um, where your business establishment is, that'll uh, also be another uh, possible business deduction. So, like I say, uh, all of these publications and forms, you can actually find all of these at uh, irs.gov um, forward slash forms or whatnot. Um, once you type that in, it'll take you to the website and you just... Uh, type in all of these forms um, how I found out about all of these it started with publication 334 it was um, I forgot what book I was reading it might have been uh, one of the rich dad poor dad series books or whatnot but uh, that's how I found out a lot about a lot of these uh, deductions and business credits that you can get and stuff like that so uh, and we already talked about that so if you've been watching this and you haven't uh, download a publication 334 you might want to do that now uh, also other publications like I just was telling you guys about uh, business expenses publication 463 and also publication 535 and also publication 946 uh, for your business credits again uh, you can go to uh, publication 334 and then also uh, you'll need 30 the form 3800 as far as like your general business credits Form 6251, the alternative minimum tax for individuals, you'll need that. And um, yeah, pretty much the general business credits, it'll show you all of the uh, the credits that you can pretty much get, uh, you know, in business or whatnot. So like I said, I just wanted to relay this information to you guys. Uh, you know, like I say, business, it, it's expensive, but one thing in Rich Dad Poor Dad they, they taught was... Uh, when it comes to spending money, you want to look at it as an investment. Don't look at it as how much money it costs. Think about it as how much money is this going to make me in the return, you know, in the long run or whatnot. So you got to have a have a long term vision. You can't have short sightedness or whatnot, you know, looking at things, especially uh, spending money. And I know money's kind of tight right now, but this is why I wanted to, you know, provide this information because money is so tight. And like I say, any little bit helps. As far as a uh, business saving money, you know, getting money back on the back end. As far as like when you file your taxes, so um, like I say, today's Friday. I just wanted to drop that content. Um, pretty. I want to say this Sunday we'll have an uh, interview. I'm not sure with who yet. I've been lining a lot of interviews up. Um, questions, concern, comments, feedback. Please feel free to uh, comment on the channel, on the YouTube channel, or you can email me at sardavid83. Uh, at gmail.com um, like I said I just want to salute everybody also that's been uh, just supporting the channel everything that I've been doing uh, helping me thus far and uh, like I said this is just the work that I like doing uh, just educating demonstrating and motivating through um, actual living experience so uh, peace to the family uh, I'm going to get back to my day as far as just my business what I have got going on uh, I've been loading up my Etsy page uh, you can check out my Etsy to look out some of my new gear if you want to. It's uh, loaded up. I'm going to be uh, adding my body oils probably later tonight. So, But like I say, peace to the family, everybody. Hope everybody has a very prosperous day, a very positive, high vibrating, and uh, yeah, just peace and love and tranquility to the family. So peace from Brother Divine on this good Friday. I hope everybody has a good day. Peace to the tribe.